Thank you for watching. My name's Amanda. Today I am prepping chicken fajitas and going to freeze it. So that way I have it as a pull out crock pot meal from the freezer. I have family staying with us in a few weeks and I wanted some stuff that I can just pull out of the freezer and throw directly into the crock pot. I am using four boneless chicken breasts, two yellow medium sized onions, and three bell peppers. I am using red, orange, and yellow for this recipe. I like to write what I am cooking on index card, and then I like to tape it on top of the Ziploc bag because I don't have printout labels, so this is uh, the best solution for that. And it makes it easy to read instead of doing Sharpie directly on top of the Ziploc bag. I have two medium yellow onions and I'm going to slice them up. I like slicing them into long strips for fajitas. I did just get these onions the other day. Sadly, they already have green sprouts starting in the middle of the onions. It is okay to eat them, but if they start growing more, then the onion's gonna get softer. So I am going ahead and going to use them. I am just gonna cut out the green centers for this uh, dish and just slice up the onion. It is okay for this dish with this type of onion that it has a green sprout in it. We are gonna be cooking up the onions in the crock pot so they are gonna become softer. They were not soft, which is fine, but if you do have an onion that gets soft and it is, has a green sprout in the center, it's perfect for a dish that you're sauteing up the onions, not using the type of onion in like that is raw on a burger. Now, if you had an onion that had a really extremely long green sprout in the center and it didn't look great and it was really soft, I then definitely would not use it. I would just get a new onion. I am now going to cut up my peppers into long strips. For this dish, I am using a red bell pepper, an orange bell pepper, and a yellow bell pepper, and they all will be cut into strips. You can use green bell peppers in this as well. I did not have any that were fresh to add to this, so this is what I had bought from Food Lion the other day and thought this would be perfect for this dish. As you can see, I have started adding all the stuff in. I have the onions in on the bottom, now the bell peppers on top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the chicken. I love stocking up on chicken when it's $1.99 a pound. That's when it's the cheapest right now. Um, and then I like to try to make some crock pot meals to freeze and get them prepped and ready. Or I just make a few meals and then cook them up and then freeze them. Or I'll do marinated chicken breasts. There's a huge variety of meals that you can do with chicken breasts. I like to get rid of as much fat as possible on the chicken when I do chicken fajitas. So that's what I'm doing right now is just trimming off the extra fat pieces. So I decided to actually slice the chicken breast for this dish instead of placing the whole chicken breast in it. For that reason, um, I'm actually going to change the time on this dish. So for the sliced chicken, it'll take four hours to cook on low. And if you do a whole chicken breast in there, then it'll actually take four to six hours and then you can just shred it up on top for your fajitas. But for this fajita dish, I want it that's as sliced chicken. Now I have a few different types of crock pots. I have a Ninja Foodie Possible Pro Cooker, which I really love. And doing the fajitas in that is my favorite actually, because I can take this um, bag here and thaw it overnight in the refrigerator, which is how I would recommend you use it in any type of crock pot dish, thaw it overnight in the fridge before you go to cook it. Now with the Ninja Foodie Possible Pro Cooker, the nice thing about that is you can actually just take the stuff and put it on a setting, sear saute, and saute everything up for a few minutes and then turn it to slow cooker. Put the lid on and let it cook for the four hours and it's really nice and tasty that way too. Now if you were using a regular slow cooker, you can either just dump everything in once it's thawed or you can pan sear it up in a pan on the stove and then dump it into your crock pot. 
I am adding a fourth cup of all natural taco seasoning that I got from Costco. I really love this taco seasoning. It really goes a long way with any type of meal that I make for like a Mexican dish. And if I do ground beef and I want to do tacos with ground beef or chicken tacos, this is a great seasoning. And I love using this in as with my fajitas. Then I am going to add a fourth cup of olive oil to the bag. Then add salt to taste. Once I have all the ingredients in the bag, the onions, the peppers, the chickens, the seasoning, the olive oil, and the salt, I am gonna zip up the bag and squeeze, squeeze out as much air as possible. And then I'm going to massage the oil, the olive oil and the seasonings into it and then try to flatten it out as best as possible. And then I'll put it in my freezer. It is good for up to three months. Now again, if you're going to be using the whole chicken breast in this dish, then I would recommend cooking it on low four to six hours. And if you're slicing it up, it should be done in about four hours. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this dish. It's so tasty. Put some cheese on it, put some avocados and on some flour wraps or tortilla corn wraps. It's so perfect.